if you are heading into the West End, Selfridges windows are always fantastic, and Selfridges is always, it's always like a party. But what I would say to you is cross over from Selfridges, go over the road, and head to Grosvenor Square. Because in Grosvenor Square, there is something I want to show you. So this is the Ever After Garden and it's here in Grosvenor Square for the Royal Marsden, it's the charity the Royal Marsden are supporting it and you can plant a rose here that lights up through solar for someone who has passed who you love and dedicate a rose to them and it's just getting dark now, if you come through at night it's unbelievable, it's so beautiful, and they've done it now for a couple of years. And it's in Grosvenor Square, which is where the American Embassy used to be, but has now become a massive hotel. But it's in the heart of Mayfair. And it's lovely, just Londoners passing through it on their way home. Very few tourists even know about this. But yes, I just love it. Do you know, I love Mayfair, I love it, but I much prefer Marylebone. So I'm heading back to Marylebone. Have a look at the lights, actually, over Oxford Street. I've left Mayfair, I'm back in Marylebone Village, and I thought I have to film them in all their glory, because they were turned out when Dave and I went to look at them. Here are the Marylebone lights. And listen, I might be BIOS, but they are the best. Oh, oh my goodness, so it's such a rush. You know why? I am going into work to have a meeting because Barry Manilow is going to be on my show on Friday. So when you watch this, I will already have interviewed him. Go to BBC Sounds and you will hear Barry Manilow. I am so excited and we're having a meeting about it now, so I'm racing into work. But what is different about me? Yes, I'm wearing winter white. I love winter white. What is different? What is different? Can you guess? I'm doing my side parting, which you all love, but what is this? We spy. How often do I change my jewelry? Hardly ever. I wear pretty much the same jewelry all the time. But when I was doing a play for Granada Television, this is way back in the 80s, the wardrobe and the makeup girl there was, she gave me some really good advice. She gave me some really good advice about what color lipstick suited me and what colors different. But she said to me, and if you think I was then 40, I was a lot younger than I am now. She said to me, you know what you should always do? She said, I give this advice to everyone. Wear white because it lights your skin and wear pearls because they light your face. And I think she is absolutely right. And you need to get the right pearls. Anyway, I'm gonna go into work, then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to explain a little more about these. These are Baroque, Baroque pearls. And this has such a great story. I'll see you when I get back. 
I come rushing in and guess who's on the sofa? Myrtle! Myrtle, you're going to say hello? She's been on the sofa since I've been out, so you may hear some grunting noises. So yes, pearls. Um, pearls have come back into my life and the reason being that I'm wearing some quite tailored clothes that I never used to wear. I used to wear very bohemian, hippie type stuff as it's heading into the colder months and also because I'm doing a lot of uh, presenting, television presenting, which is here, this is it. I want to look quite elegant and well turned out and also I want to be lit. So yeah, that little tip about pearls lighting your face. Anyway, there is this, well, these are from this fantastic jewellery company that has the best backstory. Now, you know I said I like to help female entrepreneurs who have got a, a backstory that we can all relate to. This company is called Gingerberry, Gingerberry. Gingy after the Latin for prosperity and strength and health, which I think we would all welcome. So it's Gingerberry, and it was started by Emily, who studied um, jewellery at Birmingham University. And I was really intrigued because when I was in a soap opera in Birmingham, um, there was a very good jewellery quarter there, and I bought my mum a silver ring that she still wears all these years on. So Birmingham jewellery, and the jewellery course and a young girl coming out of that whole location sort of struck a chord. And then Gingerberry, I also, and this is complete transparency, somebody I follow avidly, who mentioned me in her last YouTube channel, um, in her last vlog, Lyd Lydia Millen, she was working with Gingerberry. So when they asked if I would like to sample some of their jewellery, I was like, yes, please, because I know just how beautiful these can look on any outfit, but also on a woman my age. And this Emily, she said, the reason she created Gingerberry, and just look at look at this, look at this packaging, look, at, I'm opening some of these with you, was because she couldn't find elegant jewellery for her mum, and she certainly created it. So let's whack on, because I'm gonna do a couple of outfit changes, just so you'll see the different neckline. I've been wearing this all day, but I just thought well, these, by the way, I'm gonna take them out. These are called If Only. Um, and I've been wearing these. Because of the metal they're made with, you can sleep in these, you don't have to worry at all. Um, I, I sleep in my earrings and I swim in them, which I'm quite sure Emily from Gingerberry will be screaming, but I have. But these are the ones I wanted to show you. These are called Wishes. Can you see? This is because they are so clever. Pearls, by the way, all the pearls from Gingerberry are cultured, so they're real pearls. Um, never get fake pearls, because fake pearls, they paint them. If you look at, I don't know if you can see the tone, the hue, I love it, it's like a creamy blush. Every single pearl, obviously, is different. So your earrings, your pearls, will be different to my pearls. They'll look similar, but they'll be different. So, look how fantastic these are. But what I love about them is, these earrings can be worn three different ways. So, the pearl will come off, so you could wear them as a hoop, you can wear them with the pearl, which is what I will always do, or, you can actually thread a chain through that and have it as a necklace. So how clever is that? So yes, these are called Wishes and these are Aurora pearls. Oh gosh, I love them. So I'm wearing my hair back over one ear, but also I like to shape my head a lot and just see how it lights up. Now, I've been wearing this dress all day. I want to show, show you, these are the earrings. Um, I want to show you some of their other jewellery, their necklaces and their bracelets. I'm going to be at Sheer Lux tomorrow and I'm going to be wearing my pink cerise velvet dress. And then I'm going to be wearing my Paul Smith black, little black dress number that you all love. So I'm just going to style up. I'm going to open these with you. I haven't actually opened them yet. As I chat, there is, as a gift to you, 
15% off ginger berry, 15% off everything that I show you, everything on the website, and some of their um, items are already in the sale, but it's 15% on top of the sale that's on the website, plus free gift wrapping. So beautiful Christmas presents, beautiful presents for, I always think, bridesmaids. When my best friend got married, I always wanted her to give us pearl earrings. I hope she's not watching. She gave me a doll. Never mind, I'm gonna change. Myrtle refuses. She refuses to move. This is the Paul Smith dress. You all love this. How many years have I had it? I'm gonna be wearing Myrtle. Her hair is gonna come off. I've had this Paul Smith dress. I've talked about it. Um, the Daily Mail ran a feature on this dress 20 years ago, my little black dress. <laughs> but anyway, I love it. And I think I'm gonna be wearing it at Sheer Lux tomorrow. Either this or my pink velvet. But I know there's some necklaces in here for Gingerberry. So I'm opening these with you. I didn't want to preempt it because they're so beautifully wrapped. I could never have wrapped them up. So yes, this is a wonderful family brand run by Emily, as I say, 15% off if you use Joe 15. So let's open these together. Uh, that's the other thing. Oh my gosh, there's a jewelry case, a jewelry case on the website as well. How often have you just stuck jewelry into boxes and you lose it, you don't know where it is? I've wanted a jewelry case for 68 years. I've got my first jewelry case. Okay. So look how beautifully. Imagine getting this as a gift. It's like every film. You know in a film when Cary Grant would hand someone a piece of jewellery in a box like this? So let's have a look. Oh. These are classic pearls. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I have never in my life owned a pearl necklace. Do you see what I mean about the pearls are like, yes, I know, Myrtle loves them. Look, Myrt, this is my first pearl. Now you have to sit down and watch me, sit down and be patient. They are like a blush. They're not white, they're not pink, they're like a blush. So this is my very first pe pearl necklace in the whole of my life. It's taken me this long, everybody, this long. No, no Myrtle, no Myrtle. No Myrtle. Oh my gosh. Why have I never worn pearls before? That is stunning. There's a weight to it as well. You know, there's a lovely, I've worn costume jewellery in plays and things, um, but these are real cultured pearls and there's a weight to them. I probably wouldn't wear the earrings and the necklace. I don't think I'd wear both. So elegant, and see what I mean about throwing light up. I mean, I'm not proud of my neck, but there's nothing I can do. And this, I just think, it just gives me a ring of confidence. These are beautiful. I'm going to leave on the screen and in the description box each item that I'm opening. Oh, wow. So this is, oh my gosh, so this is silver and pearl. Look at that silver and pearl bracelet i have got the tiniest wrists bracelets do suit me because my wrists are so tiny that's not me boasting um this is where you need oh my gosh this is where i suddenly realize i need a partner to say darling let me put that on for you so you're going to have to imagine someone has said that beautiful absolutely beautiful should we open this one ah what shall i wear on sheer lux tomorrow I love just doing this. I can't remember what I ordered. Oh, oh my, I'm oh, sorry everybody. Look at this, this is class. There is no other way. Someone put in my, I said last week, what's another word for class? And somebody went, there isn't Joe. Classy, class, you know, that's the word. Oh my God, this is a whole long string of pearls. Oh my goodness. See, I would wear the whole lot together. Oh God, I just, oh, and I love that clasp. So you can just do it up so easily. Oh my gosh. 
Look at and I love that. So I have that at the front or the back. I'm sorry everybody, but this I have to go out to dinner. I have to go out to dinner tonight. This why has it taken me this long to wear pearls? Oh my gosh. I love them. I love and I don't think it is too much, all of them together. Oh, this is new me. New me. They just immediately add class. Good morning, everybody. It's very, very early in the morning. You'll hear the rubbish truck, probably. <laughs> They're collecting all the recycling here in Marylebone at the moment. Very early in the morning, I sound even more gravelly than I usually do because I've been fighting a cold for about three days and I've been going to bed really early. I know that that's, if I think I'm getting a cold, if I sleep, I can hit it on the head. Or I think I have, I feel so much better today. Um, it's a sheer luck day and I'm going in to interview a 57 year old, I think she's now 57, forgive me, I might have this wrong. She's in her 50s, her name is Caroline and she became a model at 53. She ended up in Vogue, I think eight times in the first couple of years, I mean, unbelievable. Um, I can't wait to meet her. And um, I, I have to set out early, basically, to get over to Clapham, wearing my lovely new faux leopard print coat with the fun fur pockets absolutely love it um, but I'm also wearing my frame jeans and a white a simple white tee and um, Caroline I was watching a YouTube channel with her she she believes in simplicity and um, she loves a white tee so um, I thought I'm gonna wear my white tee this is from Marquette my face is only just woken up when I wear a lot of makeup it takes a while to settle so um, yeah hopefully by the time I get to Clapham I'm going on the tube my face will have woken up. I'm filming here, by the way, because my flat is so dark at the moment. It's so early, there's hardly any light. And uh, there's a bit more light in this hall. So, heading off to Clapham. I always think Clapham Common is the coldest, windiest tube station. I always arrive with my hair fairly blow dried and I you wait to the wind tunnel which is above me but I always when I do sheer lugs I always treat myself to a cup of coffee at a fantastic coffee shop on the pavement and um, that's where I'm heading now but the wind will blow my hair out I promise you genius Why, hello, behind jo. everything she oh, is like she creates this amazing content well we've just done a tiktok with joe with two bottles of wine and it's what time is it is it what time is it 10 a.m 10 a.m <laughs> um so yes yeah, been a very uh, very early morning oh, a very early it? start here at Shiraz. and what are you what are you doing here this i'm morning? here to interview uh, doing an insert for the gold show with an amazing woman who's 53 became a model at 53 and was in eight copies of Vogue in the very first year. Wow. She's called Caroline Le Boucher. Caroline oh, Le Boucher. I know. Do you yes, know her? Yes. Stunning. Really interesting because she's grey and she lives in Dubai and she went when she went to Dubai they all expected her to bleach her hair and she went no and that's almost like her trademark, her grey. Can Love we show it. everyone your Christmas tree here? Yes, yes. Come so on this, over. I like this. This is like a little women. Yeah, hopefully Christmas there'll be one downstairs as well. Oh yeah. So sweet. Isn't it? It's so, oh. oh. That's lovely, Daisy. Have you got yours up yet? Yes, we've got a massive one in our hallway, actually, Brilliant. which is really nice. Brilliant. Right, this is from our YouTube channel, Caroline. This is Caroline. We've just done the interview on shit. Look at how beautiful. This is her beautiful daughter, Mimi, who was a model, is a model, is a model before her mother. Yeah, and did 14 you, she was. 14? Yeah. 
look at these girls behind you. They, they want us to get out. But they have skin to die for, these girls. They absolutely... So, yes, hopefully we'll get them back for mother and daughter interview. Yeah, hope so. That'd be fun. It will be, are you the same height? No. No, she's like... No, she's, she's got tall jeans. She's... I she can has, get. <laughs> You say actually you're not tall enough to be a model, but you, you are. are. You, you really so are. are. Things have yeah, things have yeah. changed. They individuality, individuality. Well, I was too short to be a model when when I first started. They said that I needed to grow still. No, yeah. girls. I mean, look at us. Look, look at us. Look. Just look at me. They haven't say I need a box whenever I'm doing anything. <laughs> um, anyway, you must follow us. We will put this up on. Uh, I think in February. I uh, I will give you warning when it all goes up. But we've had such a great time. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. It's half past two. This looks light, but it is so dark outside. It's really dark. Um, here comes Myrtle. Whenever I talk to the camera, she thinks I'm talking to someone. I'm not talking to anyone apart from our friends, Myrtle. And Myrtle, can I just say, they adore you. Somebody put up in the comments under the last vlog, love Dave, love Myrtle, Joe is really annoying. I know I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying. Um, gosh, I haven't done my zip up. So, here she comes. This is her favourite chair. Is this your favourite chair? It's falling apart, this chair. Let everyone, look. It's an old family heirloom and I love it. And I, I can't part with it, although it needs to be repaired. It's called distressed. Unlike you, you don't have the energy to be distressed. Oh, so you've moved from the bedroom to the chair. That's it, that's your day. Um, yes, Myrtle seems to be far more popular with, whoops, than I am. I'll come down here, I hate people bobbing down. It's just I haven't got time to put you on a proper thing. I've got my wonderful pearl. I'm wearing these, I sleep in them. I love them, I might change them for the other pair when I go in to do my show tomorrow. Right, so. The reason I'm bobbing down, the reason I am dressed in this O Pioneers dress is because O Pioneers, which is a um, female run, I've been in there before, two girls started it, it's in Marylebone Lane, Clara's story is incredibly emotional. If you Google O Pioneers, you'll, you'll read about Clara's story and why she started it. It's wonderful and we all support them, the two girls, Tanya and Clara, because they're amazing. And yes, yeah, so if you remember, on last week's vlog at the fashion, charity fashion show, I was wearing a full length O Pioneers. This is to the knee with boots. I don't know if you can see properly. Can you see? With my boots. And it's got pockets. And it's needle cord. I just love it. And I've got a summer one as well. Anyway. Uh, the reason I'm going down there is they're having a party. They have great parties. Um, and I, they've got little knitted bonnets and their mums are there because their mums knit. It's a lovely atmosphere and it's their Christmas party. So I am going down, I'm going to take you with me and I mustn't buy any more clothes. Remember? Hello everybody, as you know, I'm going to, I'm going to O Pioneers where this dress was made, but my zip always gets stuck. They're beautiful dresses. No one else's zips get stuck. Oh and goodness. the only person that could do it is Sandra. Sandra, you've turned into my handmaiden. Ah, She's to. done it. Hey. Thank you. Hi, everyone. What would I do without, what seriously would I do without them? That's this is, right. I haven't worn it since the last time you did that. It's oh, a nice dress. It's beautiful. But what? It reminds me of a dress when I had, when I wore dresses. When you I wear dresses young. all the time. Oh. Do you, you know that material? Well, it's needle cord. It's beautiful. Really nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Anyway, um, that, you know, there's Jim who thinks time. we're completely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased you're in because I thought, can I ask Jim to do up my zip? Yeah, he would have done, he would have done actually. He would have yeah. done it. Listen, guys, I'm going to go. Oh, and yeah. reflect. This is no reflection on the dress. The dress is absolutely yeah, the dress amazing. Is Stunning, isn't it's it? Lovely. Yes. It's just Gorgeous. I'm a bit porky. Right. I'm off.
I'm very, very excited to meet you. I can't so, believe you even no. know who I am. Well, I'm beyond your account, I'm going to have to give you a hug now. <laughs> Twinning as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have found you. I have no idea. Yes, please. Honestly, I am so gassed. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my goodness. 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 Oh, so nice to come home. Sorry, everybody, about there's no lights. I have hardly any. Are you, are you pleased to see me, Mert? Poor Mert. Where can I put you so you can see Myrtle? I've got no Christmas lights up. I've got hardly any lights. And I need to talk to you about all of that. Shall I put you down here? Oh. Here we are, Merch. You can come here. That's a good girl. There. Are you please come back? Hardly seen me. Sandra took her out. I'll take these boots off. Um, I just want, want to have a bit of a chat because I know... Sorry. Get this straight. I know that this vlog and many of my vlogmases are me racing all over London. But that's basically what the lead up to Christmas is for me. It is a lot of racing around. And um, a couple of things this afternoon that I realised. Mert, you're going to settle. Let's settle and be nice. Where's your collar? Sit down there with... All right, it's settle. She wants to be on me. All right, so there we go. Where's the collar? Is Sandra taking it off? Um, meeting Paula at that O Pioneers party, she is a legend. She is. She has half a million followers on Instagram, um, and you must follow her. Um, her Instagram is Hill House Vintage. <laughs> I have followed her for ages, but I, I when I arrived, this isn't me. Please don't think this is me bigging myself up. I'm telling you this for a reason. When I arrived, she said, oh, Joe, I have followed you for years. She said, I really started to, um, to watch your vlogs during the pandemic and after the pandemic. And she said, I'm gonna come down on the floor. It's probably better. She said, um, I just, I really, really enjoyed um, what you were filming. And we chatted. I mean, what a lovely woman. Absolutely lovely woman. In fact, I, I said, you must come down to Maribyrnong. She, she lives in Norfolk. Um, but um, she's often in Maribyrnong. So I'm going to meet up with her. I just found her really interesting. But it made me think about... Um, I just hope I don't... lose sight of what I always was when I started vlogging. Sorry, this sounds terribly indulgent. Um, but it's like, I know, you know, I read all your comments and people say things like, um, oh gosh, you, you know, you spend all this, all right, Myrtle, Myrtle. Uh, she doesn't like me getting self-obsessed. Um, but people say, oh, you spend all this money on clothes and you spend all this money on Myrtle's clothes and you're always wandering around shopping and living this life of extravagance and indulgence. And it's truly, it's not something that was handed me. It wasn't, and it could all go tomorrow. I say this all the time. I don't come from a family with money. I have no financial support or ever have done from my family. Um, so I know I fill these vlogs with a lot of um, luxury items and shopping and skipping about, but it's how I love my life. And it is banal. It's frivolous, but I am 68 and I just feel like I've earned the right to do this. And I will 
when it ends, and it will end, everything ends, doesn't it? Everything has a cycle. And when it does, I will do something else that I enjoy. Because I can't afford to ever give up work. Because what I've earned, I spend on nice things and living and paying rent in Marylebone and buying my dog expensive hand-knitted sweaters. But I hope I haven't lost sight of um, what my vlogging used to be. And that's the other thing, is that I know a lot of you miss Mutti on the vlogs, but Mutti is really fragile and I don't want to film her when she's fragile because it will when I look back on it in the future, I look back on the vlogs I filmed with Mutz, gosh, I'm really upset. I look back on them now and I see her when she was really healthy and younger, even that was what, four years ago. So I'm glad I've got, I've got a diary, a video diary of her and I don't want to film this bit, even though she's happy and, you know, loved. It's just this is a very vulnerable time and I don't want to film that. So anyway, I don't know. I had one glass of champagne at that party and I've become very reflective. <laughs> anyway. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a hot bath because it was so cold out there. I'm going to have a hot bath and then I am going into work. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thank you and you. Sleep well. Gosh, it's chilly. Very chilly tonight. There he is. Hi. Hi. It's freezing, isn't it? It is freezing. Oh, I, look at those. Oh, I love your earrings. I've never seen you wear earrings before. These are my pearl earrings. Oh, no, I don't pearl use earrings. Uh, yeah. The girl with the pearl earrings. They light, they light my face up, don't yeah, they? they're lovely. Yeah, I've never seen you wear earrings. No, before. I don't usually... I've just started wearing pearls. I've got no makeup on. Well, you, are, you, are you wearing them because you were interviewing Barry Manilow? I was interviewing Barry Manilow, everybody, tonight. Go to BBC How things have changed since you've gone national? Since I've gone national? Two and a half months ago. Two and a half months ago, you got Barry from East Energy to be know. made up, wouldn't you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, I can't breathe on you because I've got a cold. Oh, oh there's Sarah going, senior producer. Bye. There's Rob, who's a reporter. You all know Rob. And I don't know where Mel is. There's three security guards over there. Three you? security guards. And I'm wearing pearl earrings, oh, yes. You interviewed Barry Manilow, didn't you? And I interviewed Barry Manilow. What a night. What a night. And my cold, you know, I've had a streaming cold. And they say, this is why I'm very sorry, everybody. I have no, there's Mel. Bye, Mel. I have no makeup on because I want to just literally fall into bed um but they say there's a there's a saying called dr footlights you feel better when you're on stage because the adrenaline gets you through it so i got through it what sort of week have you had dave oh not too bad it's been hectic of course because the first week of december is always the busiest week of the year so it's been a uh, just crazy traffic i mean it takes you an hour to get from harris to Piccadilly because because everyone's out shopping, but it's been busy, it's been lovely, yeah. Yeah, good for you. I'm going to finish the vlog here, everybody, so I can have a good old gossip with Dave, because it's such a short journey. So all I'm going to say is, um, I am posting, my Vlogmas is two vlogs a week, so my next vlog will be on Thursday. So write that down, put it in your phone, Thursday. If you missed, I did two vlogs this week, so go back, I posted another one on Monday. So you've got two to watch, but my next one will be on Thursday. So um, make sure you tune in on Thursday. And yes, I am a new me with my pearls. I'm loving my pearls. They do light my face. And I'll leave all the details for my pearls below. How, oh gosh, this is, it's like cartoon that's, capers with all that's these busy. That's, that's all people, that's all booking people trying to book me. Isn't That's it? all people trying to book Dave yeah. because it's a Friday night and they're all out. Um, so he's going to drop me off very quickly. We don't have time to chat. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye. See you next week. Please subscribe, everybody. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Bye. Bye. Bye.